Hey guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, Kilos and Cosplay. My name is Sydney and today we have a figure Friday on a Sunday. So uh, please forgive me that it's delayed. Things at work have just been crazy because, you know, it's the end of the year and with what I handle, a lot of people want a lot of things from me and it's tough to keep up with. And so by the end of the day, I was just drained all week. I would basically go to bed right after work and that left no time for content creating. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Um, I have some time off next week and I plan on getting a lot of things filmed and that includes Patreon videos and I will have a, finally have a figure video out, <laughs> hopefully Monday. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I do have a lot of figures and there's gonna be a lot of great ones coming up and then there's also gonna be a lot of great ones on my Patreon. So if you are interested, there's always a link in bio. But let's just go ahead, hop right to it, and let's see what beautiful figures we got this week to talk about. Also before we get officially into it, this beautiful uh, figure has released. I'm thinking about picking it up. It's by QuestQ. I do really like their work. I feel like the price is reasonable. Um, I know the box is big. That's my only kind of concern. Somebody posted a picture of the box and that is a ridiculous size for a one seventh figure. But I'm thinking about picking her up and I needed opinions on if I should or not. Cause like, I'm like this tempted to add her to my order because certain figures are getting delayed for me. So I'm like, I could just throw her in <laughs> into my upcoming order. So uh, let me know if I should, cause I keep coming back to her and she's gorgeous. So I don't know if anybody has her yet cause I know she just released, but if anybody does, let me know what you think of her or if I should get her cause I kind of love her a lot. I'll probably do it, but I need some bad influences to help me out. <laughs> so now we will get to the list. And of course we'll start with Nendroids. Starting us off, we have from Castlevania. It's a series I haven't watched yet, but I hear great things about. Um, Alcart? Alcart? <laughs> um, I will say, I love beautiful vampire men. I think that's what he is. Um, and I will say, this is a really nice Nendroid. They got like a scar, everything. Don't know anything about the series. This is all just based on what I'm seeing. And I think it looks good. I love things that they add. I think it, he's just a beautiful piece love all the accessories and I love this. This is really cool. But the only thing is I feel like it would be hard to display and would be kind of annoying because you would have to like have enough room for that. And then it's going to be kind of awkward because you can't like see the picture unless you're like looking down at it. So I think it's a cool concept, but I don't know how it would display. Um, but no, he's just beautiful. So if you guys are fans of Castlevania, he looks like he's a popular one on my figure collection, so you can pick him up from that one show, the Recoil show. <laughs> um, we do have uh, this adorable character. I will say the character's cute. I still have not watched the series yet, but now they have the counterpart to the other girl. Um, I will say she's kind of plain. I feel like they really didn't give her a whole lot. I mean, she has her guns and stuff, but like, I feel like her face plates are really lacking. Um, doesn't really have a lot of expression, but I don't think she's terribly priced if I recall right. So at least they didn't, they weren't completely stupid in like pricing her like 50, 60 bucks. Cause I think on Amiyami she's like 40, but she's a cutie. And if you like this series, it's a great one. So now both of them out and you can add them to the collection. I will say I do really like the pose where they're kicking each other. I think that's really cute, but it would be kind of annoying to display because like you couldn't see their face. <laughs> the last Android we have is of course the final season Levi. Um, this very well could be a spoiler if you have not caught up, but Levi be looking rough. <laughs> but I did order this one because I do like it. I think I'm, I don't know how many Attack on Titan Androids I'm getting. I am getting like all the final season, but I don't know if I'm going to get, I like ended up canceling like my Mikasa, Aaron, and um, Armin ones from like the beginning of the seasons. Um, and I'm torn if I am ever gonna go back and pick those up because I do kind of want to pose Levi with Aaron when he's like kicking him. <laughs> so 
so I might get him but I'm torn on the other two I don't think they're that great and honestly the attack on titan androids are kind of a pain to display so I'm wondering if this will be different but I do love Levi and I do love all like the final season ones so I'm getting it I love his face I think this is perfect I think they did a great job so I'm very excited to see this one turn out but like it's all it's also good and I know you can't get him on Amiami as far as I know or as far as I can like recall um but you can still get him on Good Smile and I think like other sites but I don't think he's on Amiami. Moving on to some pop-up parades I'm not gonna go to all of the individual ones I'm just gonna do a full-on display like picture of all of them because it's from that Ruby show um I will say these all look really good and I think they all look great together um, one kind of crappy thing I feel that they did is these all release in April. So all of them release at the same time and I hate when they do that with collection ones because yeah pop-up parades are cheaper but not everybody has a budget to get four figures in a month regardless of if it being a scale, a prize, or something like that. Because most of the time people are buying these aren't wanting to spend an ungodly amount of money on figures every single month so I kind of wish they would have like spread that out to make it seem a little better that way it's like okay there's like 40 this month 40 that month whatever whatever so I kind of hate that they did that I don't feel like that's very fair <laughs> um, and of course delays can happen but that's just so stupid but I do think these actually all look really good together I know nothing about the series so I cannot speak on the accuracy of their outfits but I will say they are all very cute from like just a average person's perspective. <laughs> and then I believe this is our last pop up parade. It is this very cute little witch Nobetta. Um, I believe it's a game. I don't know much about it, but I will say she is super cute. I've been really loving like all like the witchy games and stuff like that. Maybe it's because I re like Witch Hat Atelier and like it just. I love any witchy stuff now, especially when they're just like adorable and they're in their cutest little outfits. Um, so this is actually very cute. She has a very cute face. I love everything about this, honestly. Like, it kind of makes me want to go and look into the game and actually play it just because she's an adorable character. And there is a pre-order bonus, which is this cat, which I love seeing them do like more pre-order bonuses for pop-up parades because I know they did it the last time we talked about one like for the other kind of like game character but I can't I love that like it would maybe give me an incentive to want to pick up pop-up braids but like they're just not trustworthy with their quality uh, up next we have another one of the like kind of fallen angel versions that they have of uh, the quintessential one tuplets this time we have Miku um, it is by Proof, and like, this Alice Glint, what is this? Is this a producer? I've been seeing that on more figures, so I don't know exactly who or what that is, <laughs> but I've been seeing them more. Um, again, I just feel like these just give me prize figure vibes. I really don't like them. I feel like there's so many different types of quintessential quintuplet sets you could get. And personally, I would rather have them either in like a wedding look or in their traditional kind of outfits. Um, I just think this is kind of like it's it obviously would be better quality than a prize figure, but the look is just not there. I don't know, just kind of weird. I really don't like it. I don't like the colors, um, but I do see a lot of people loving it, so I could just be a hater. I don't know. And I just feel like they're really expensive for what it is honestly so i'm personally not a big fan but to each that sticking with the quintessential wet uplets another collection from ethnix we do have two more of the girls so we have ichika and i believe i who was the other one that they had released and itsuki so we got two of them i'm just going to show them right here I don't think this line's that great and also for whatever reason these two that they released are like more expensive than the other like ones that were released because I think they're all out now and I think all the other three were like 29,000 yen or something like that which is high but now these are like 30 
36,000 yen. Like, it's a huge price jump. I don't know, actually, those other ones might have been even a little lower, but like, oh my god. Like, why did you give a price jump? I also am not a huge fan of uh, FNX type of figures. Like, I have some, and they are beautiful, the ones I do have. But I kind of feel like lately it's been such a hit or miss with them. And I personally feel like these ones look like prize figures. I think their faces look awful. I think the shading looks awful. I think the flowers they're holding looks bad. I just feel like they look very flat and not very like dimensional. I just really don't feel like the face is the character. It's like, in my opinion, I don't. I like I love the concept that they're going for, but like they look bad. I will say, um, Ichika's looks even worse. Like her face looks awful to me. But like other people in the comments are saying like, oh, they really like it, or the face looks really good, or it's a beautiful figure. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I feel like even like they're like. Ichiban Kuji like wedding dress ones are better than this because they have some cute ones on like for like those type of lottery ones this is ugly <laughs> I'm sorry I hate these and I just feel like especially the quintessential quintuplets have so many types of figures to pick from that these are just not that good does their face off to anybody else like I just feel like they look bad moving on to more figures that I think look bad <laughs> We have this original characters and that's uh, Neil Neela. They are one fifth scales and they're by a company that I've never heard of before. And so I cannot speak on their quality or anything like that. But <laughs> these are horrible. These look like they were made 15 years ago. These are awful, the coloring's awful, the shading's awful, the face is awful, the portions are awful. Ew. What is this? And then you can also get like the tan one. And that color scheme is ugly too. Everything about these are so ugly. And they're kind of expensive. Like 24,800 yen. And honestly, like, okay, they're a one fifth, but these look like garbage. Like, the, the hair is so flat, the colors are just, I, I literally can't even like look at the colors, like, I hate these, I hate these so much. In the year of bunny figures, basically, we have so many amazing bunnies to pick from. Why would you pick that? Like, we're not scarce, like, this isn't like a new concept, like, ooh, we're getting bunny girls. No, there's so many to pick from. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Um, more figures <laughs> that I'm really not liking. Um, we have a Hirashi ones, and so we have uh, Rika. It's a one seven scale, uh, one seven scale, and it is by Good Smile, but also being manufactured by Miyuki. Also, I haven't heard of them before. Okay, it, it's been a while since I watched Hirashi, and I'm gonna say I'm like I like this like story. I like the darkness of it. So I'm not like, I'm not like a soup, like a huge fan, but does her face usually look that bad? Is it just me that thinks she looks ugly? <laughs> like, who is that? Why is her face so round? Like, and then you can get this bonus one with it. I think it comes with it anyways, but I still think it looks bad. It looks a little better than the other one, but it still looks ugly. But I think the other girl, I don't remember her name looks good. I think she's very, like, they did a good job. I feel like she's pretty accurate to the character. I like her little thing. I like, you know, her outfit. This is probably the least, like, lewd ones I've seen of some of the Higurashi ones. Um, and it's cute. I think they did a great job with her. She's, I mean, Rhea's not bad, but, like, I really don't think they did that great of a job. In all honesty, like, I don't feel like it looks that good. Again, it could be the picturing, or like the pictures, <laughs> what they took. But I don't think it looks that good. And then people were saying like, oh no, it really looks like the art. I still feel like she, I don't know, she feel like she doesn't look like she has a neck in the art. But I feel like her face looks a little better. Like, I think it's just something with her eyes. 
Like, I think that's why they, like, messed up. Like, the eyes just don't look good. <laughs> that's why I'm hating. Let's just continue to hate. <laughs> we have this original character, and I was so, so excited about this one. But it got manufactured by uh, this company. And all their figures are ugly. They all literally look like 2006 figures. It looks like they have never changed their process and they're refusing to ever do it. And it sucks because I love this character. I wanted another like swimsuit cowgirl to go with the other one I have. And I'm so sad because the art's so cute. I can't show you the art because she is very exposed in it. So, and she, the figure itself does not look that bad from a distance. But once you start looking at it and getting into the details, that's the problem. One, I don't know, I'm hoping they're not doing this piece. Um, two, very poor shading on her hair and everything. Um, and three, why are her hands so tiny? Like, she's so, like, unproportioned. And, like, anime figures aren't very, like, you know, realistically portioned. I know this. But something about her hands <laughs> and arms <laughs> just look awful. She has, like, baby hands. And, like, that's all I can focus on now. I feel like she's, like, it got a cute concept. But, like, look how tiny her hands are. And like even the like bottle of milk is so small. I don't feel like her face looks that good either, especially when they take away like the milk. Like see, like especially up close, it's like, ooh, I don't know. Like I feel like it looks really, really weird. And it sucks because Ami Ami is also has like this like uh, acrylic board of the like official art, which I would love to buy, but they're only doing it as a pre-order bonus and. I'm not that dedicated into spending like 200 ish dollars just to get that acrylic board. Maybe someone will sell it, maybe I can find other art anywhere else. But it sucks, like even like the tag on the ear, like everything looks bad. I really, really wish I could show you the, <laughs> the official art because the art is so cute. I really wish Native would have picked this up instead. I feel like this figure would be so popular, especially with like the cow print swimsuit. It sucks. It sucks that like Native did not take this and I really wish they would have. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm out of my hater era now. <laughs> so let's get to some figures I do like. Starting us off, of course, an Azerlane figure. Beautiful. I think her name is Honolulu. I kind of love that. And this is cute. I will say I don't like the support peg for the hair. It's kind of annoying. But she's very cute and I love her colors and like her extra face. I really like it. It's, oh my god, she looks so cute. Everything looks flowing. You have the, the logic of the chest. <laughs> the anti-gravity things going on. Oh my god, the thickness like of her thighs. Like that squish. I'm gonna wait till she releases. I don't think I'll pre-order her. And I might pick her up later because I kind of want to see how I like it, like once it's actually done. Um, it's being made by Wave, I believe, and I do really, really love Wave. So I know it's going to be good, but I want to see the base first. But it's so beautiful. Like the hair is gorgeous. Like the coloring throughout it, beautiful. I think this is so, so cute. Everything is just <sighs> adorable. I love it so much. So if it turns out amazing, I might pick it up. I, I love it. It's so beautiful. But I gotta say, I love like all Azure Lane figures. Next, we do have a Asuka figure. So this is a 1 7th Spy Good Smile, and it is her in her adult form, I believe. Um, I think she herself looks beautiful. I think her suit's gorgeous. I love that shine to it. I like the like ripping of it. Her face is beautiful. Her hair is flowing gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I will say, I kind of wish they would have just like either made like this base like all the way through with this rock because whatever this clear thing <laughs> that we have going on makes it look really cheap which sucks because I love everything else. I gotta say like that clear base part kills me. I don't know if it's gonna be on the final product but I think if they could have just like made this go throughout or something it would have looked a lot better but she herself is super cute. Next we have this very cute um, original character. It's a Halloween succubus. Um, 
I love it. Like, I don't buy like holiday themed ones, so I won't be picking it up. But this is cute. Her sleeves are my favorite thing. I love her outfit. Honestly, her, everything about it. Her face is adorable. She's got a little thing. <laughs> Maybe I'll break my heart not buying seasonal rolls. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so cute. I will say she is adorable. Oh my god, every angle is a, just so beautiful. I love this like, kind of these like stripes that they have, like this ribbon. It is so cute, but I, I love the sleeves so, so much. Um, so if you, there is two different versions, if you get the regular version, it is just this kind of plain base. But if you end up getting the deluxe version, which I don't really honestly understand why they have two versions, because I think she would look incomplete without her the extra base that they are showing, which is this. This is too perfect. Like I and, and like the price is kind of like a little rough for even just the regular, but like it's just it's not great. I think this is like if you want the like bone like this extra bit, it's like thirty four thousand yen. So she's very expensive, but. I feel like this base is a must. Like, if you're gonna invest in it, I think it's worth picking this one up. But she is just gorgeous. Like, oh my god, I love her so much. <laughs> She's one of those Halloween ones that I'm like, oh, it's kind of her and like Miss Orangette, I think, are so just beautiful. And of course, up next we have another Azure Lane figure, and it is a uh, Reno. And she is oh, made by Thousand. And there's that Alice Glint as the producer again, but I have never heard of Thousand. But these pictures are kind of crap, but she is so cute. I actually really love this so much. And the chicks, the chicks at the bottom are such a selling point. I love her face, like this like translucent like, like outfit. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> I love the pom-poms, I love the two different face plates, I love this like flag in the background, I love the base. These chicks though, these chicks. Oh my goodness, look at them. <laughs> I will say the chicks are such like also a selling point for Azerlane figures, but no, she looks incredible. She's one that I also um, might pick up later, I'm really not like stressed about it, but like I adore this. I love everything about it. She's so cute. She's just a little too pricey for me at the time, but oh my god, she's so cute. But those chicks. And sticking with the Azure Lane theme, we have our last figure, and that is a one-fourth, uh, I don't know how to say her name, though, mm. so I'm not gonna try to butcher it, but I will say I was really, really, really excited about this one when at first, like, we even had a prototype. The price has definitely talked me out of it. It's like 44,000 yen, so I don't think I'll be picking her up. And I will say, I feel like she'd be really awkward to display. Like, you could really only have her in a certain way, so that's kind of annoying. I love her, like, swimsuit. <laughs> But like, see, like it's just like, how would you display her if it's not just this one specific way? But I will say everything is cute. Um, I love the like the hair with the flowers, sunglasses, her holding like this camera with like a picture coming out. She looks great. Her nails look great. Even all her accessories, her face is beautiful. I think she's so cute. I just really don't know how to display her, and also um, very expensive. My one complaint though, is I do wish they would have kind of stuck with this and like added like this extra detailing and like even like added like a um, like a towel or something for her to be on, especially for that price. Then I could have like probably justified it, but just her herself, eh, I can't. If they would have done all this though, I absolutely 100% would have picked her up because she's so cute. <laughs> But I think it's she's very adorable. I kind of wish is her mouth open in this one. Yeah, it looks like her mouth is a little open. So I kind of wish they would have done that here. But she's a little cutie. She's just a very expensive cutie. <laughs> right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Uh, again, sorry it was a late video, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it overall. 
um let me know what figures you guys are looking forward to out of the ones that i have shown you or if you have any that you want to talk about uh just let me know in the comments below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and as always i will catch you in the next one bye